I think what attracts me to what Rosemary's Babies is doing is my own personal journey. There are times throughout a person's life that um, a bit of a hand um, is important to where they're going to get to next. And I've had my fair share of, uh, of hands along the way. I was a young father and a single father for almost nine years prior to getting married. And, and the support of the community um, was vital. And sometimes I think about what, what's it like for people who don't have that kind of support? Homelessness is going to continue to exist until you see a solution, a path. And why not this corner? Why not this location? Why not Rosemary's Babies? This is a great opportunity for you to come alongside Rosemary's Babies and make it successful. We, we would be, um, I guess, remiss not to find ways to give back when we have this great opportunity uh, and we've been given so much in our, in our personal life. I, I definitely agree with what Vince said, but they didn't necessarily choose that path, right? Homelessness happens because somebody got ill and they couldn't afford, right? Somebody had a disagreement with a family member and they said, follow what I say, yeah. or... They may have been put out. Put out, right? Yeah, yeah. And they might have trusted somebody, right? And got into the situation where they're pregnant and now have a child. And, but all I can say is the people that are going into Rosemary's to do this, have decided they don't want to follow that other path. They want to find something better. And so they've heard about this program and they want to be engaged in that program, right? They've already taken that step. And I think if we don't have a solution or an outlet where people can actually get counseling uh, and learn how to get back on their feet, we're going to see more and more problems here in the next few years. So establishing um, an entity like Rosemary's Baby in a community like Avondale is necessary. Rosemary's identified a project, a piece of property to build this uh, facility to house the organization and to uh, house some of these parents. And what we're doing is providing design development level engineering at this point so that she can get together a good, reliable cost estimate of what the construction is going to be. Well, I think the unique nature of this is that this building at one time was a single family home. What it's going to be now is a multi-family home. And so providing each of these occupants with individualized control of their space is going to be important. I know the, the, the challenges that she's facing right now. So certainly the building is uh, historic in nature. Uh, we have an expertise in historic restoration projects. The team that's been assembled with ourselves and Triversity and others that there's credibility behind uh, our involvement in the project. So there's a, there's a bit of a posse that's come together to support her, but what we're adding is our construction expertise, our ability to, to put together good budgets to bring our subcontractors to this to make sure we've evaluated the space so that we know what it takes to build it, we know what it takes to maintain it. That's gonna be important. If you peel the onions back on this project, um, they've done a really nice job putting it together and bringing in the expertise they need, whether it's how to run a residential facility, they brought in the expertise to help them. They've got a board of directors in place. They've got a very smart president, executive director in Rosemary. She's got business education and she's got heart for the business and, and you need that passion. And so they've built out the right team to put the, this in a good place. They've asked for advice, they've used that advice, they've built the right team. And if I was putting together any business, um, this is how I would put it together. I'd build the right team, ask the right questions, put the right model together, and I think she's done just that. I'm excited about the work they can do and the lives they can transform. Um, I just wish we could do it 10 more times so that we could feed the need that's really, really out there. When I met Rosemary, I was changed. Just that first meeting with her and hearing her story. And, her and being a mother yourself. And I have a mom, I'm a mom yeah. with two kids. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, if, if circumstances would happen and they would be there, I would love to know that somebody like Rosemary and her organization would be helping my child. Because if it can make somebody else's life change, and they can make somebody else's life change, then we're all going to be in a better place. Yeah. And that makes me excited about coming to work.
right? It's like, I want to go to work and I want to do this and this and this and, and make their lives better. And if I can do that, then that's changed me. When Rosemary approached me about it, uh, it was a no brainer because some of our mindset as we look to how do we spend our money uh, as part of the KLH Keep Lending a Hand Fund is are we simply treating a sickness or are we really getting to the root cause and trying to change something in a profound way. And when Rosemary tells her story, and she's not just there in a short-term situation, but rather teach these young parents how to be parents to their children, teach them the importance of sharing that story with others so that we can break that cycle of single parenthood generation to generation. That to me is solving a problem not just putting a band-aid on it. And that's what attracted us to this project. Well, it takes a village, right? And uh, as villages continue uh, to grow and contribute to the greater, if they don't come out of that generational curse, uh, they'll continue to be a sore for any city. So housing is a huge component of that. It's not just the housing, it's family housing. Yeah. That's, I don't think it's just getting by is what people want anymore. They want to thrive. Whatever that is on their path, they have to decide that. But everybody really wants to do the best they can do, not only for themselves, but their family, but their community. I think that's inherent with what people want to do. It's, but how can we help them get there? Whether it's through housing or through yep. Rosemary's Babies, it just keeps growing and growing and growing. It gets attention and mm -hmm. then there gets more movement. And some of the struggle is in our generations, um, it's, hard to be what you can't see. So the more housing success and families and friends that are in homes, in good apartments, uh, the better off this next decision making uh, happens for the next family. Do you care enough to care about a person enough to seek to understand how did they become where they are right now? How and why did this happen? Everyone's got a journey. Again, I've walked the journey of being a young parent, and I, I felt the ridicule of people saying, you know, how could he ever um, do that? Um, but I will tell you that uh, empathy is that opportunity to close that gap. And everyone's not going to get there with us. Everybody's not going to feel that heart pull to do it. I think Rosemary's Babies is the perfect place to start, though. Let's go try to understand how people are, where they are right now, and most importantly, how we can support them to get to their next place.